scientists, and welcome to another edition of Science for Kern, home edition. And today we're going to be making a paper hovercraft. Um, today's equipment that we'll be using um, is actually really super simple. We're just using paper, um, paper that you would have at home. Today I have um, colored um, computer paper, but regular white con um, computer paper works out um, just fine. And our hovercraft works quite simply. Just take a piece of paper, and if you, without any um, prior folding, if we blow, our hovercraft moves across the table. Or if you want to get fancy with your hovercraft, um, you can create um, one of these folded um, hovercrafts. I made a larger one, a smaller one. You can play around with all sorts of different um, sizes of hovercrafts. What's important is that we start with a square of paper. And to um, take our uh, computer paper and um, make sure that it's a square, I'll show you real quick how to do that. We fold the triangle right like that, fold across, and then cut off this rectangle. And the rectangle that we cut off uh, we can just get rid of that, but we have this nice um, triangle shape. And we fold that way, and then we fold back that way. And if you're getting, feeling like you're having trouble keeping up, uh, you can pause the video and um, do your folding and then get caught up. All right, so there's our hovercraft. And if we open it up a bit, and you'll notice that this time actually we've created a little different iteration of um, the others, but um, I will bet that this one will work too. So um, let's do a little um, playing, a little messing around with our hovercrafts. So I'm going to try the pre folded one first, try it out here on my table, and um, if we blow, our hovercraft moves quite nicely across the table. And if you notice, in the back side of our hovercraft, uh, we have some space. And so if you consider, think about what's the science here, what's going on, and we blow, we're actually trapping some air inside that open space, creating some force, um, eliminating some friction between the hovercraft and the table, and our hovercraft actually moves across the table. Now here's another way that you can try if you're um, wanting to do, um, to play around with our hovercraft in a little different way. I've got a fan that you might have around home. Be careful, not, don't stick your fingers in the fan. Um, but turn the fan on, and I'm actually going to turn my fan on high. I need it to be tilted down as far as it will go. If I turn it on high, we actually get our hovercraft to move across the table. Let's try this hovercraft. Let's get it nice and close, and look at that. And did you notice the difference between the smaller hovercraft and the larger hovercraft? And I encourage you to um, try out varying sizes of um, hovercrafts. Let's try this other oddly um, folded hovercraft, and let's see if it works. Let's see what the difference is. Whoa, that one really goes. So. Get yourself some paper and have some fun at home. To learn more about this science activity and many others, check us out at scienceforkern.org.